Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you here and today I have another exciting video for you. This is my sister-in-law and we are going to be talking how to make your life better, how to improve, how to get things that you want to achieve. So today we're just going to talk about it and uh, help you get to your first steps. As Mia said, I'm a transformational coach and I can tell you that so many methods how you can change your life for the better statement. I am a holistic person in my mind and I see the life so that uh, we can complete any request with a different kind of methods. And my favorite ones are going to be presented today. <clears throat> and I would like to start with the neurographics. This method is becoming very popular in all over the world in the moment. And these drawings are looking like this. These are mine from my big work. And you can see that they are totally different and very attractive. And this kind of painting can be done by anyone. So in this um, method, uh, what is interesting that we can work out any, any kind of request from any field, occupying one part of your brains with the drawing we can dive deeply into your subconsciousness and change the patterns of your thinking. And this is very exciting. Can you do these drawings uh, alone? Do you need some kind of a guidance or how should you start? There are some uh, free YouTube videos, so you can find it. But I recommend to follow the practice with the instructor because there are some meanings that can be provided from the master. The interpretation of the drawing is very important for any person. Yes, you can draw by yourself. There are some techniques that are very easy to, to learn. But uh, if you want to go for the better results, it's better to follow the instructing. But if you're going to start by yourself, it's also okay because I support any, any steps for your transformations. Just start doing something. Yeah, of course, uh, if you are new to this, you might not know it, but your mind is controlling your life. Basically. Yes. <laughs> All your thoughts, uh, you are creating your own life. So if you start from there, it's already going to be a big change. The mind is a key figure in your life. Let's say you broke a leg, but you should know that this is the result of some kind of way of thinking. It's very important to control the emotions and it's very important to follow the thoughts you are translating for, to this world. And it's really important to realize how it's working and to study some kind of the tools and instruments, how you can influence your life. Yeah, and often it's also important to listen to what your body is saying. Of For course. the example that you gave of a broken foot, as you said, it comes from something else. So then you have to see from your own life what kind of thoughts brought you to that, because that's just a, your body telling you that something is wrong. That's true, that's true. And another kind of uh, the nice instrument that I like a lot is, is essential oils, truly therapeutic ones and uh, truly natural ones, because you should be very careful. Oils can give the passive support f f to you. It's working very easy. It's getting into your blood flow, into your lymph flow, and then the micro elements of the essential oil is getting into the nervous system. It's connecting to the long chain. And then you start to see more variants of your life. You start to react normally, not from your stress statement, but you get resourced. This is some kind of a magic, but I see the positive results of my customers, of my clients. From every visit to another visit, they are progressing. There are lots of researches of uh, connection uh, between your inner uh, emotional problems and your perception of the smell. So uh, these are two methods that are very easy. I mean that people don't like to participate so much in some practice because you need to spend a lot of efforts and energy. But when you have some kind of passive support, like let's say this essential oils, they say it's very easy. Especially if you have a diffuser, you just drop three, five drops and of the oil and it's working. And with these drawings, these drawings are opening the uh, creativity and uh, a lot of people who are drawing with me, they say that, oh, I feel like being a child again. So they lose the control. They don't judge themselves. 
they just dive into creativity, they just dive into this drawing, they feel relaxed, and alongside with that, I'm guiding them, them with their problem, we open up some uh, blocks, we open up some mental constructions that they have been built many years and using them for living, and now they're not useful anymore. And then, little by little, we change the mind, and then the people can see how life is beautiful. So, and now we are going to actually do an, another aroma diagnostics for me. This is my third time, and the last time I did it in November. So it will be interesting to see if something has changed, and I will show you through the process a little bit as well. The first uh, way we are going to do it, there are 63 different aroma oils that I'm going to smell, and I have to rate them from zero to five. Five meaning that I like the smell very much, Four, I like it, but it's not my favorite. Yeah. Number three means it's neutral. I don't like it or dislike it. Two meaning I really don't like the smell. And zero, I cannot smell it at all. And uh, Xenia, meanwhile, will just write down the results and then uh, overall we will see what it, what it tells me. The and wow. after smelling uh, a few oils, it's important to drink some water to neutralize your taste buds so mm -hmm. that you are not influenced by the previous ones. Now I see the progress in your diagnostics. Some oils that were disliked are coming to the neutral status. This is very good, but still the spicy oils that are very rooting and they are showing your feeling of the being balanced and centered are not okay that like the, this group is disbalanced and that means for you that you don't have enough of the energy you don't rest enough you have a lot of aims but you cannot reach all of them but now i want to tell you that you disliked clove and that means that at the moment you are in an emotional block probably you don't see any way of your personal growth maybe there are no perspective at the job or there is like no perspective in the relationship. I don't know what is the more important for you. Or it can mean that you're living through one emotion that you cannot get out, like you're circled in this and you're still thinking, thinking, thinking. But using the, continuing using this uh, resourcing perfume, it will help you to get out of that. So ginger, it's like the fear of acting. So probably you have big plans, you have the idea and, and you understand how you need to promote yourself. But in some way, you still fear, still feeling this fear, but still you get the cardamom of the top choice. And here, this is your inner request, the strong one for uh, physical and intelligence relax. So you need to release your stress to get out of the anger and not to block the anger. So I would recommend to go for boxing probably or somewhere where you can shout out loud some disco party, whatever, where you can release your emotions into this world and let your body get, get, get rid of that. So not keeping, because when you keep, you get your liver sick. So this is not your case. You need to be healthy and you know prosperous. So in this way, please do something. <laughs> All right, and then we come to cinnamon. So the cinnamon will help you to get rid of the fears of the loneliness feelings and to restore the uh, uh, living energy flows and it will help you to accept your sexuality and your feminine body. Actually, you're a very disciplinary person and for you to wake up early, it's normal and we can see in your uh, Instagram blog that uh, every morning you go for gym six o'clock in the morning, so you're very disciplined. I feel envy for that, so <laughs> it's fine. All right, and then we have the citrus group and these oils are oils of the positivity, of the communication, and you're also fine here, but still these numbers, this neutral, 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 means that you like to be in the center, you like when they pay attention to you, and uh, sometimes uh, it can also mean that you need to include more parties in your life to feel more joy. <laughs> Xava, are you watching this? <laughs> she needs some parties. Because she is very, very grandma style. <laughs> I can say that you are tired from being studying. 
you are studying a lot at the moment and these numbers and this group are showing that you are uh, overfooled with the information you need to get rest like full rest not like here you came to spain and yes now we have this diagnostics and you from time to time you go to the beach but you still have a studying and you have deadlines you need some time without all of that. Yeah, so of course these practices are much deeper and there is a lot more to talk about that will not fit into one video. This is more of an introduction and if you are interested more, make sure to comment down below. You can follow Xenia on Instagram as well. I will have all the information down below. And yeah, if you have any questions then don't hesitate to reach out. To, to her or to me and I will delegate the questions. Yes, sure. And thank you so much for being interested because now the, uh, the time is changing and people are getting so interested in the ways of living this life fully, like 100%. They don't agree anymore for some half steps and uh, this uh, half joys. They want to feel it like fully, fully. So. These all, all of this kind of practice, they are very working and uh, helping with that. Yeah, it's important to know that you can live your dream life. Yes, you, that's true. If you do the right practices and if you sure. consciously work on it. Yes. <laughs> so thank you for watching. And if the interest of this video will be more, maybe we can do a part two in the yeah, future with why not? more sure. of your questions. So yeah, let me know what you think about this topic. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again next week. See you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>